here? Am I here or am I here? Hello everyone, I am Rishi Shiv. Today we are going to do Merlin Mission Book Review Part Not 1, not 2, not 3, not 4, not 5, but 6. So let's start. We are going to do books 19, 20, 21 and 22. So let's start with 19. Coming down, it's going to fly and the To save Penny the Penguin, Jack and Andy must go back in time to get a special feather from Abraham Lincoln himself. But Lincoln is too busy running a country at war. Can Jack and Andy save a president, a new friend, themselves and Penny too? Yes, the third thing is actually a feather, just as the description says. So, Jack and Annie have to go to the White House, where, surprisingly, everyone is allowed to enter. Even citizens. So, they, the, Teddy and Kathleen give them a potion to... Wait, what do they give the potion to? They give them a potion to make helpers appear. There's a note. There's a note beneath it. Trust the magic. That. That says the note. So when they can't meet Abraham Lincoln, then they use the magic. They go into a huge black hole, and then pssst. where are they? They're in. An old world. They meet a boy called Sam. Which is actually not Sam actually. He's not Sam. And he has another name which I'm not going to show you. I'm going to tell at the end. So this Sam helps them. Uh, this Sam teaches them how to do work and then and then they and then Jack and Annie teach Sam that their inter interjection was oh wow Whoa, oh man. So, and after that, the they give a goose, uh, Sam gives a goose feather, her, uh, goose feather and uh, black, blackberry ink to Jack and Annie. So, when they, when they fall so in swirling darkness again, like whoa, in the black hole, they come out to the, pre, the time that they, they were in before, the time where her, this how it this this time and turns out Sam is actually Abraham Abraham Lincoln. He just pranked uh, Abraham Lincoln said I remembered you you when I was young I met I met you and you still look just the same. You disappeared into a thing, thing and like teleported <laughs> Yes, uh, so actually Abraham Lincoln gave them a goose feather, which was the thing they needed. So they, they wrote something spe special and then they go back from the tree house and then they're back home and then put the feather next to everything. That's all. So in 1 out of 10, I'd give it a... Eight. So let me keep book number 19, Abe Lincoln at last. Next we have A Perfect Time for Pandas. Pandas, pandas actually like to hide. So this panda is also hiding. I'm just kidding. It wants to come out. The magic treehouse whisked Jack and Annie off to a village in the mountains of southeast China near the world famous panda reserve. They find a special food to save Merlin's beloved penguin Penny. Then a historic earthquake strikes. How will Jack and Annie survive? So actually, they've, give, they've been given a potion, another potion this time, that, that can help them grow five times their size. Jack is five feet tall now. 
Oh, and they go to China again, in, and they go to a panda reserve there, where they meet Bing Bing, a panda, and then the earthquake strikes. If if this book was a dust queen, like uh, 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 like that. So after that, Jack drinks the potion. I mean, in the middle of the earthquake, and then he grows twenty five feet tall because five multiplied by five is equal to twenty five. Hey, actually, the size is not. No, we can't reach the size. Uh, no human can reach the size. Even the tallest human can't reach the size. So after that, this is the one trip for one hour actually. So then they and and after that one hour they run to a panda reserve. So when then they will Rolly another panda, Polly another panda, and little guy another panda. Three pandas and then Bing and then Bing Bing in the walks on all fours and the and and then. Uh, He shows them the masterly, and then he tells them that panda bread. Wait, let me just read you the rhyme that what food they need to find. Find. A healthy food, grainy and good. Baked with love, tough as wood. Round in shape, the color of sand. Given to those those who have lost their land. Pandas have lost their land. And the panda bread is greeny and good for health, but it's tough as wood and baked with love. It's actually bamboo, actually. Baked with love, yes, that also feels. And it's tough as wood. Your teeth will break if you eat it. <laughs> it and it's also round in shape, the color of sand, given to pandas who have lost their land. So that's the food. They're like, I wish we could go to Camelot, and then the back to Camelot, and then here are the four things: an emerald rose from the time of India. Next, we have what is it? A flower, the buttercup from um the Swiss Next, we have the feather from Abraham Lincoln. Next, we have the panda bread from China. So then, the four things it doesn't work. And then uh, Teddy cries, and then Penny comes back to life. Teddy's like woohoo, 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 and they all do that. And then that's the end of the story. They go home, and then that's all. All. So next we have in one out of ten, I'd give a perfect time for pandas. One or two or three? No, I'd give it a nine. Next we have my favorite book in these four, Stallion by Starlight. To help Jack and Annie find four secrets of greatness, is the magic tree house of wisdom back to meet Alexander the Great. He know he should know all about greatness, right? But young Alexander is bossy, vain, and not great at all. It's going to take a wild black stallion magic from Merlin. And a lot of bravery, bravery for Jack and Annie to succeed. Sorry, I fell down. Like, and then, okay, so, so and it's going to take wild black stallion magic from Merlin and a lot of bravery for Jack and Annie to succeed. The wild black stallion is right here. Stallion means male horse. Horse. So this horse, real name is Bucephalus, and then uh, Alexander the Great. Actually, uh, Alexander the Great wants to tame this horse, but King Philip, Alexander's father, er, was like, "This horse cannot be tamed, Alexander." And then, uh, and then, Jack, you know Aristotle, right? It uh, He, uh, Aristotle says says that humility is the secret of greatness. Yes, and then in the end, Bucephalus, and then Merlin has given them a potion. If they 
I mean, a magic mist. If the, if they sniff it, and then they have to wish to become great at one thing. Like, I wish to be a great horse trainer, and then become a great horse trainer. They use that to uh, tame Bucephalus, and then Alexander uh, and the horse would like riding, 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 and and then that's the end of the story. They go home. I mean, Jack and Annie go home. Home, and then that, and then that's all. They go home. Jump around a little, all that, and in one out of ten, I'd give it a ten. So I put this. Woo! Next we have a ma a magic paste, completely magic paste. Turn turn. It's going to make a disappearing act. Hurry up, Houndini, and now he's going to rotate. Houndini is not in this cover, but so, uh, hound. So they need to find another secret of greatness here. Merlin the magician, Merlin the magician, sent Jack and Annie back in time, time to the Coney Island boardwalk in New York. They must search for Harry Houndini, Houdini. I mean. Harry Houdini, the greatest magician who ever lived. But can they find the mask, master of escape, and learn a special secret from um, him? Jack and Annie will have to work the magic of their own to complete this adventure. One minute, I almost fell down again. Oh. So, Jack and Annie want to go. To Coney Island, they always wanted to go to Coney Island, and then they have doll, and then they have a uh, sense. They they get cotton candy. They go on a ride. They eat some hot dogs, and then uh, uh, Jack is like, uh, Annie is like, everything is the greatest here. So Jack says that means nothing is the greatest here, because if all of them are equal, then nothing is the greatest. So after they go to magic show, but they find out that it's sold out. The tickets are sold out. So, oh, the Bamini brothers was a uh, another part of the magic show, not here. So, Jolly Jack and Amazing Annie. Ini, ini, they come up on the stage. They wish to be great magician, and then I wish to be a great magician, and then they. And then they do all sort of tricks, and then Harry Houdini comes. Um, he handcuff ropes, and then and then he tied up, put in a can of milk, and then and when when everyone closes their eyes, he's like, right up. How, how did he escape? That's still a mystery. It's all optical illusion, said Harry Houdini. In fact. The real secret of greatness is hard work. So, in this ha, so the the ring of truth glows. The ring of truth uh, is a ring that whenever they hear the secret of greatness, it has to glow, glow, and then it glows, and then they uh, thank you, thank you, all that, and then they go home. So in one out of ten, I give it a nine. So that's the end of this episode. We did a blink and it lasts number nineteen, a perfect time for pandas number twenty, stallion by starlight number twenty one, and hurry up ha Houdini number twenty two. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding 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 ding. Bye.